In this video, we're going to talk about Maxon Redshift, about the uh, render engine that you can use with the Cinema 4D software, but also with other software. Now, uh, Maxon Redshift, it's uh, available in the Maxon website, so you can just search for in Google Maxon Redshift to find it, where to download it, and uh, we're going to see how to download it and how to install it. Now, um, we can click on this first link here to go and get the, the plugin because Redshift is essentially a plugin and uh, we're going to use it in Cinema 4D and then we can see some of the integrations and requirements. Now requirements are really important with the with the most um, with the latest uh, render engines because they they are they deserve a lot of uh, requirements. Now you can use um, Redshift if you use it in Cinema 4D you can use it for Windows for Linux for Apple Mac so you can use it uh, also in other application like Maya or 3ds Max or Udini, Katana, uh, Blender and so on. So you can use Redshift in many other uh, software, but we're going to use it for a Cinema 4D. And uh, it's, uh, the minimum requirements here are 16 gigabyte of RAM and then a 64 bit processor and NVIDIA with uh, 8 gigabyte of virtual RAM or VRAM. This is really important if you want to run the render engine properly because it's based on a GPU. So it's really important to have a strong GPU. Now in the recommender requirements, we have like a little bit higher um, settings here with the i7 and 3 gigahertz for the processor, 32 gigabyte of RAM. And uh, in the NVIDIA, it's suggested to have 12 gigabyte of virtual RAM or VRAM. Now, um, once you make sure that you have those, you know, hardware installed, yeah, you can, we can see some integrations here. You can switch the language in the website to your own language. I'm just going to go for English for this introduction because all the terms here are basically in English. So it's better to have it in English. So here we can see some of the integrations again with Blender, with uh, Katana, uh, Foundry Katana, Udini, and um, others that you may be interested in. And then we have a page of features. We can see that we can use uh, Redshift for product design, automotive, interiors. We have a strong global illumination system. We have the possibility to use proxies. We have hair um, shaders and rendering. We have baking. We have um, denoising to improve our render quality. We have, um, and uh, this is this are common for also other render engine like V-Ray and so on. And then, or cycles. And then we have uh, physical based materials to have realistic materials and uh, round the corners for um, objects and volumetric effects which can improve the scene and uh, the final render and there you go we have so a lot of examples here of product design docile design interior design architecture uh, natural lighting uh, physical sun and sky uh, lights and volumes and surfaces and shaders and and a lot of other things that we're gonna discover a little by little in the following videos. Now, um, let's get in the main page here, RevShift. So RevShift is GPU accelerated fully, which means that it's gonna like base the power on the GPU, on your graphic video card. So it's really important to have a strong GPU. And it's also biased, which means it's a little bit more approximate than other render engines, but also faster and not so heavy. So that, that's the characteristic of biased render, but you also have like unbiased or also hybrid, unbiased and biased, like V-Ray. And similar render engine, similar redshift are uh, V-Ray or Octane. And this can be found also in the channel if you wanna know more about this render engine. And so some of these are biased, which means they are a little bit more approximate by faster. Some are unbiased, which means they are exact and with a high detail, but they also heavier. And also uh, we have here uh, like uh, related research. Cinema 4D is the main application when you want to use Redshift. And also we have ZBrush, which is part of Maxon. 
So Maxon is the owner of uh, Cinema 4D, ZBrush, and Redshift at the moment, and we can use uh, we can use all of them, or we can just use Cinema 4D with Redshift. We're not going to use ZBrush. If you want to discover ZBrush, that's for modeling and sculpting and painting, and you'll find a course dedica dedicated to that, as well as Octane, V-Ray, and Cinema 4D. In this uh, course, we're going to focus in mainly in Redshift for Cinema 4D and nothing else. So let's open up again the main page. This is where we can go to get it. So we need to decide if you want to try or if you want to buy. So uh, there you go. This is uh, the main page. You have other information if you want to know more in depth about GPU ad acceleration, bias, photorealism of the rendering, texture shading materials, integrations, all the other info are right here for you if you want to know more. Now, what we're going to do is jump directly to to get the, the the plugin. So we can either go for try or buy. So if you want to try it, let's see here, we have 14 days free trial. And if you want to buy it, you have here plus on pricing. So make sure you download the Maxon app. This is where you're going to uh, go um, to install anything, the trial or the actual app. You need to go through the Maxon app. And in this case, you have 14 days if you want to use trial products. And you can try all the products that are part of Maxon 1, which is, you know, everything. ZBrush, Cinema 4D, and others, many others. So um, if you want, you can check also the, the details of this package. So um, you, can, you can try it for 14 days. If you want to buy it, you have um, here plans and pricing for students with uh, lower prices and then you have individuals, teams and here you can choose annual or monthly. Now uh, monthly can be also dismissed anytime. You can release the, the license anytime and you can see you have Maxon 1 which contains all the software either for annual or monthly. We have basically the same thing and then you have Cinema 4D plus Redshift. Probably you want to have this. If you already have Cinema 4D then you just go for Redshift. But if you don't have any of the two, you need to install both at least to work with Redshift. Otherwise, you can install the Redshift only, and that's going to give you the integration for Maya, 3ds Max, Udini, Katana, Blender, ZBrush. But in this course, we're going to focus on, again, Cinema 4D plus Redshift. We're going to use that. But it's similar in other software. So if you can also check the course if you want to, you know, out know how to work in general with, with Redshift. So um, proceed with the payment. You can use PayPal, you can use uh, whatever. And then download the Maxon app. Well, you need to download this anyway. Whether you're going for the try or the buy, you need to download Maxon app. So it's downloading up there and it's gonna be found in the download folder. So you can either click here if you're using Google or just open up the folder, which is gonna be your download folder. And there's the app right there. So double click. And first of all, we need to install Maxon app. Again, this is for the ones who never ever done this before. So it's really basic. We're starting from the basic. We're gonna start from the real basic. So this is Maxon one with all the software we want and we can install, we can buy, we can try, we can install. And while it installs, we are installing Cinema 4D first. So while it's installed, we can see some renderings here made with Maxon Redshift just by searching Google, just to show you that, again, you can use this for architecture, interior entertainment, if you want to do like movies or video games or visualization, arc vis architecture visualization, arc viz, or uh, product viz visualization, prod viz, automotive, and, um, you know, any other similar field will be fine using Redshift. Again, similar render engines are Cycles in, in Blender or Octane. Octane also you can use it for Blender or for a similar application. So that's basically a render engine. What we are installing here is a render engine. So it's going to have its own materials, its own lights, and that's mostly how every render engine works. Okay, now we finished to install uh, Cinema 4D. Sorry, we finished to download Cinema 4D. Now we need to proceed with the installation. Now before install Redshift, we need to do this. We need to have Cinema 4D or 
any other uh, software that it's compatible with Redshift. So now we are proceeding with the actual installation of Cinema 4D. So with Maxon 1 or Maxon app, first we, we can download, then we proceed with the installation. Now it's finished, so all I need to do is click on Finish, and also I can run Cinema 4D right away. Now, one thing it's really important, this is a Cinema 4D Lite, which comes from, like uh, I think uh, when I install After Effects, I also had this light version available of Cinema 4D. But be careful because we cannot use Redshift in, in here. We need the full Cinema 4D. So this could happen if you have like both version installed. So what I need to do is click on the little exclamation mark. In the meanwhile, I'm going to download Redshift before I install it. So in the meanwhile, you see this uh, orange and green exclamation marks icon. Well, you need to click there if, if it's orange. And there we go, now we finished and we can to download Redshift. So, so we proceed with the installation. And then I'm gonna explain that thing to you. So, um, well, we don't need, we just need for Cinema 4D here. So make sure that's available and then just go forward here. And click next, that's two gigabyte of space. And folder 2024, because I only have one version at the moment of Cinema 4D, so that's gonna be fine. Install. Now, uh, while we wait that this installs, let's click Finish. Now make sure, again, here in the Maxon app, you see that that's gonna be green, that has to be green. And to make it green, you need to apply the license that you just bought. Otherwise, it's gonna go automatically, sometimes in Cinema 4D Lite. Well, make sure that everything is green. So you click on the little three dots and just apply the license. And that's it. But you can also release the license from here after a month, if you're using like a monthly subscription. Okay, now we're back in Cinema 4D. And we can go up here on the right, top right of the view, of the 3D view, we find the render settings, the one with the little engine icon. And then we open this panel. And you can see right away, that Redshift, it's available. It's installed, it's available here in the render section. So I can choose also to go back to the standard, all the other ones available in Cinema 4D, but usually this is gonna be automatically set to Redshift once you download it and install it. So first of all, install Cinema 4D. Second, secondly, you install Redshift. Make sure you open up the Cinema 4D full version, not the light version. And that's it, we're ready to go. But we're gonna end up in this video. We're gonna continue in the following one. So subscribe to stay updated, join the channel to support us and check out other courses and other guides that you find in the channel. See you in the next.